Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, September 8th. Just going to run through the morning charts here. Here we've got the Kitco gold overlay chart. You can see yesterday we had a nice uh, surge up in the morning, and then it pretty much flagged all day. Uh, this morning we're coming in pretty much just above the yesterday's high, and uh, gold continues to chip its way and grind its way higher. And I think we're we're going to uh, possibly break and make a new high, but I think that high will be sold into. And uh, I am bullish on gold, but I just feel the price action recently isn't really that healthy for a big rally, a continued rally straight up. So I do feel as though we're still going to get a pullback. Let me just pull up the daily and intraday chart. Of course, we got the daily chart here. You can see we're trading into uh, these top resistance levels. We could easily uh, penetrate the uh, this high over here back in June, and we'll probably see a nice pop. So see some strong volume as everybody uh, breakout traders jump in uh, it'll be interesting to see if we see that get sold right back down uh, within a day or two and if we do then we might see a reversal and see something similar to what we saw uh, back over here you see uh, once you get a new high you get a sell down and then over here we had a sell off and a sell off and a sell off so every time you break these you know you make a new high you break this high and then you see it push back down and you break another high well, if we start to see that type of action then we'll there will be a good chance that we're going to get another big down draft uh, maybe not that big I still think it'll go to about the 1220 possible 1200 area and then from there we'll uh, reanalyze and see what's going on but I, I am interested in possibly taking a short position but uh, the price action we need to see what we saw back over here uh, before we take a short uh, position in gold because we really want to see distribution you want to see sellers in control that are going to uh, push it back down so if we take a look at the 60 minute chart this morning we're getting if I just zoom out a couple days this morning we're getting some um, the, the angle this morning we've got this bull flag and we've got this kind of drift and we kind of got this um, weird angle kind of going up this pattern here which I've, I see quite happen quite often is usually a bearish sign uh, just just on this time frame, it's just a short uh, short reversal. I, I can see it coming back down at the 12:55 uh, sometime today. And what happens is usually you get this uh, this spike straight up to the high, and then you'll just see this kind of pull back. And you'll see this drift, this kind of fade right back up. And a lot of times it'll break. It has broken this high, which it has now. A lot of times it'll go a little bit higher, but then you'll get uh, sim very similar to what we saw back over here. Uh, you'll see it move up, and then you'll see a, some big selling step in. And uh, I so I feel I have a feeling that's what's going to happen today there. But uh, let's move to the U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar is a 60-minute chart. Yesterday we had a, uh, a huge run up. Uh, early this morning we've got some. We got a bit of a pullback, and then it had a bounce, and it's pulling back again. And if we just zoom out a little bit, you can see it's trading on. Right, pretty much right on top of a support level so it did make a nice breakout yesterday uh, made it with some nice volume and this pullback here has happened on light volume through the night which is good and we did see two volume spikes and a bounce so I am hoping that gold or sorry the US dollar is going to hold up and hopefully it'll continue to move up and that'll put downward pressure on oil so let me just pull the oil chart up here's the daily chart of oil of course we've got this um, bear flag we've got this kind of pennant formation here and oil's just working its way uh, through here we've got some good selling spikes that have that have uh, started to come on so hopefully we get some follow through and we get uh, another leg down and I think it would test somewhere down around the uh, 69 68 area right back down into here if we get a nice breakdown so that's what I'm looking for for oil if we break it down to the 60 minute chart you can see it's getting a little bit of legs this morning it's uh... it keeps selling down but then uh... bounces back pretty sharp i think uh... uh... people are kind of moving into it even though the u.s. dollar is trying to hold up I, people keep kind of m jumping into oil here and it's uh... holding it up they just think that oil is a safe play in case something bad happens to the economy or something so uh... it's holding up but uh... I do have a feeling overall the longer term chart is still pretty bearish. Now if we take a look at the SP500, this is the 24 hour chart, 60 minute, uh, 60 minute chart, and you can see we've had a nice run up there the past few days, and uh, yesterday we saw it just kind of grind its way lower on relatively light volume, 
and this morning it came right down into uh, uh, the 10, 1086 area and if we actually look on the there's a couple things here if you actually look on the regular trading hours you can see the 200 period moving average uh, is at 1086 so it came down to touch that this morning and it's put in a nice bounce uh, also it's dropped right back down into this key kind of support level these this previous high over here so it's dropped back down into there and we had a bounce off that this morning so um, we might have a good upward move today what I really want to see though let me just pull in the market internal charts here this is the uh, SPY ETF and 15 minute chart and it's got the up and down volume ratios so when uh, you see this green line on the bottom here go up that means there's uh, panic selling and when there's panic selling it usually means the market is coming to an end uh, of the downtrend and uh, once everybody's panicked out of their play then there's usually just buyers left so we did see some panic selling yesterday and uh, I was, I'm hoping we're gonna get still get a, a lower uh, move down today I'd like to see it flush a little bit more uh, we did pretty much fill this gap here yesterday but uh, so this is good uh, this panic selling for I want to buy in this dip uh, we are in an uptrend on the on the uh, on this chart here so I do want to buy into a dip it looks like a nice bear flag more or less forming and we could continue higher up to the, around the uh, 1113 area now if I pull in the advanced decline line the NYSE advanced decline line you can see I've got these uh, bars here anyways when it's trading down below, down around here in this lower green area I have green as a, a buy and that means we're yesterday we were oversold there's almost 15,000 or sorry 1500 uh, stocks in the NYSE trading down for the day which is overdone and there's probably going to be some type of relief bounce coming our way and that's in line with the panic selling so both those charts uh, are, are telling us that uh, the market could be getting tired of being sold down and it could have a relief bounce now here's the put call ratio now it is still bullish or sorry it is still bearish uh, a lot of people are that's kinda reverse psychology or people are bullish on the market they're buying lots of calls and uh, really what I wanted to see yesterday was more of a sell-off and of course people would become more fearful and we'd see more people starting to sell more puts through the day and then when everybody was fearful uh, buying puts and of course there was panic selling and the market was oversold then we'd be set up for a really nice uh, buy the dip situation so right now the market's still really bullish on the mar uh, overall on the indexes and um, so this kind of chart throws uh, kind of throws a wrench into things but if we go back um, it's kind of hard to show it here without an overlay of a SP chart but you can see there's two ranges here there's this upper range which we've been trading in for a while and this is what you get in a downtrend and in an uptrend you get it trading into this lower range um, and and that's where I think we could be switching to we could be switching to this lower range again which means this would actually become the green line the red line would actually be down here so it's going to be interesting to see what happens um, I would like to uh, possibly pick up a small long position today uh, simply because I think we could be shifting into an uptrend but um, I'm going to have to check out the market internals and see uh, and do a little more digging because we need we need a few more bars to really confirm that uh, we're in an uptrend and uh, and we need some volume to make sure that uh, that that shows that as well. Anyways, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys in the chat room. Bye bye.